What if I told you that thousands of high-quality photorealistic 3D assets, once locked behind paywalls, are now completely free for everyone? That's right. The incredible Megascans library along with assets from Unreal Marketplace, Sketchfab, and ArtStation are now combined into a massive one-stop shop. This is the ultimate marketplace for 3D artists and it's finally here to transform how you create. And today, we're going to dive into the new Fab Marketplace, learn how we can claim over 17,000 free assets and see how we can use it to elevate elevate our workflow. If you like to follow news related to 3D in general, it's no surprise to you that Epic Games has been merging with some major companies over the last few years, and they announced Fab in the state of Unreal at GDC 2023, promising a unified marketplace for all kinds of applications. Built on the foundation of Sketchfab, Fab now contains assets from all of their major marketplaces, Unreal Marketplace, Sketchfab of course, ArtStation, and the Quixel Megascans library. What makes this so exciting for 3D creators is the sheer volume and diversity of assets available in one place. From game-ready models to stunning photorealistic environments. Whether you're working in animation, game development, VFX, or any other creative field, Fab has you covered. But here's the best part. Until the end of this year, the entire Megascans library is completely free for you to acquire. That's over 17,000 AAA quality photorealistic 3D scanned assets, and once you claim them, they're yours forever. No matter which 3D software you use. Unreal Engine users have enjoyed these assets through the Quixel Bridge plugin for a while now, but the fact that they're now free for everyone is just crazy. So this is what Fab looks like. Very clean and thank goodness they went with a dark theme and decided not to blind us with the old sketch Fab interface. You can log in here with your Epic Games account and all your previously owned assets will automatically migrate over. Now I've heard a few users mention that some of their products are asking to be repurchased so do keep that in mind. And right here you'll notice a banner that says get all Quixel Mega Scans for free with a claim now button below that. Click on it and it'll take you to a page where you can just hit claim free mega scans and they're yours forever. I seriously appreciate how straightforward Epic has made this. People were running scripts to manually claim each asset one by one, guilty as charged here. So I'm really glad they've simplified it. Thanks Epic for not torturing us. You can scroll down to read the FAQs which mention how to download the assets, the types of assets included, and here it says that anything that they publish before the end of the year is also going to be free, which is great news. Then it goes over the licensing of these assets which you can read all about here. You can keep your free assets under this license even after they become paid, and there will be some free stuff even after the year is over, and finally some info on some deprecated assets not being migrated. To access all of your Megascans assets, you can hit this go to Quixel profile button where you'll find find all of the Quixel assets in a new page. You can click on any one of these assets and find this very cool 3D viewer based on Sketchfab's interface, working for Megascans asset 2 now, with all the bells and whistles. If you like something, you can add it to your library by clicking on this button here and accepting the agreement. You can access this library from the top left My Library button here. Give it a refresh and it should appear in your library with all of your other pre-owned products. Finding new products is also very straightforward, despite the challenge of oversaturation. When you click on the search bar, you'll see three categories based on game engines, Unity, Unreal and UEFN which stands for Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Other engines like Godot will be added soon. The tagging system also helps refine your search. You can start with a broad category and narrow it down using subcategories as tags, helping you find exactly what you're looking for. While we're thrilled with Fab, one thing our storage doesn't need is more assets. Managing thousands of files, keeping them organized and quickly finding the right one when needed has been a real challenge. That's where today's sponsor, Blueberry AI steps in to help. So Blueberry AI is like a supercharged Dropbox designed specifically for artists and creators like us. It's an AI powered digital asset management tool that makes organizing and finding your design files a breeze. One of the things that I love about Blueberry AI is their AI powered smart search and automated tagging. Basically it automatically tags your digital assets and uses advanced search features so you can find exactly what you're looking for using keywords, tags, colors, images or even just a description. No more scrolling through endless files trying to locate that one texture or model. Another fantastic feature is the seamless integration with tools we already use such as 3ds Max, Maya, Blender along with Perforce, Jira and various game engines. This means you don't have to change your workflow, Blueberry AI fits right in. Plus it supports a ton of file types from images to complex 3D models and even in their proprietary file formats like .blend so compatibility isn't an issue. For those of us collaborating with others 
or working across multiple devices. Blueberry offers efficient version control and large file transfer capabilities. You can track changes, manage updates, and share large files securely and quickly, which is super handy when dealing with big projects. Additionally, Blueberry allows you and your team to preview assets directly in a browser without needing to open any editing software. This is a game changer for those who only need to provide feedback on a project and prefer not to install numerous editing tools. If you're looking to streamline your asset management and save a lot of time, I definitely recommend giving Blueberry AI a try. It has made organizing and accessing my digital art assets so much easier. You can sign up for free using the link in the description below and start optimizing your workflow today. Downloading is equally user-friendly with multiple formats available for each model offering various levels of quality so you can choose exactly what fits your project's needs. I'm going to download this high quality FBX version for example and I'll find the FBX file with all the texture maps I can imagine myself requiring for a detailed material. And of course, I can easily import it into Blender, set up a material and there I have a high quality scan inside my project completely for free. When you try downloading an Unreal Engine specific product, you'll see a note directing you to access it through your Epic Games Launcher Vault. They also mentioned the upcoming Fab UE5 plugin which is still in development at the time of this recording. For Unity users, you can download proprietary files that you can later import directly into Unity. I'm confident they'll also release plugins for Blender, Maya and other software soon, making this whole process even smoother for creators across different platforms. Going back to the homepage, in the first news section here, you can see that there's an opportunity to get free Substance subscriptions. More specifically, you can get 6 months of Substance Painter and Modeler for free if you either publish a product of your own on Fab or buy $25 worth of products in exchange for a redemption code for the subscription. I don't know how long this offer lasts, but it does say that you have to redeem your code before 31st of May 2025 to activate the free subscription. Adobe isn't the only major company they decided to tie up with because if you scroll down to the featured seller section, you can see some packs from big studios like Decogon, Evermotion, and Kitbash 3D, and this goes a long way to unifying high quality assets from everywhere online. I also want to go over the publish page because this is a really good chance for creators to publish their products on this marketplace right now. They have an 88-12 split of the revenue which puts the creators first and lets them earn more fairly from their products and scale their business. And the fact that the products can reach a wider audience now thanks to everything being in one place, artists who create general assets like models and music can get more eyes on their products. It also gives the publishers an option to opt out of AI while putting their content out which will not allow any generative AI models to train on their products. Fab is launching just now and they're providing all of this crazy stuff for the customers but what about the sellers? Well, until the end of this year, you can keep 100% of the earnings from anything you sell on this platform and that is an incredible initiative by Epic Games and I'm all for it. There is a $100 payout threshold. If you don't meet it, your earnings will roll over month to month until you do and if by the end of the year you still haven't met it, Epic Games will pay out whatever balance you have accumulated. Now, while Fab offers a lot of exciting opportunities for creators, it's not perfect. There are a few areas where it falls short or could improve. Let's dive into some of the downsides I've noticed. One major issue is the lack of open text reviews or question sections which were available in the previous marketplaces like Unreal Engine Marketplace. Right now, users can only leave star ratings which are often less helpful than detailed reviews. This limits user feedback making it harder to understand how useful or functional certain assets are before purchasing. Many users have expressed frustration with this and I couldn't agree more. As I mentioned earlier, some users have experienced issues with assets not properly migrating from previous platforms. In some cases, products even asked to be repurchased which has understandably caused frustration. For a short time, I noticed my library was completely empty too but after claiming the Megascans assets, adding something new to the library and refreshing the page, everything updated. So if you run into the same issue, that might be a quick fix. Another common complaint is that Megascans will become a paid resource for everyone including Unreal Engine users starting next year. While I understand the frustration, I actually respect this decision. It levels the playing field, giving independent creators a better chance to get their products noticed. Other Otherwise, it would be tough for smaller creators to stand out against massive high quality libraries like Megascans offering their products for free. There are lots of positives and negatives to the launch of Fab, like with any new product or service that enters the market. I'm hopeful that as time goes on, most of these issues will be ironed out. With Epic Games track record of community engagement, I'm hopeful they will continue listening to user feedback and implement more features based on community needs. There's so much potential for this marketplace to evolve into the central hub for 3D creators across all 
industries. As the platform grows and more plugins are developed for other software like Blender, I believe Fab will only get better. We're still in the early days and with the current incentives, there's a lot of potential for Fab to become the go-to marketplace for creators across the board. But what do you think? Have you experienced any issues with Fab or are you excited about its potential? Drop a comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with this platform. And if you haven't tried it yet, you can find all the links in the description of this video. Now that you've seen what Fab can offer, and if you find the Mega Scans assets impressive, you might be wondering how to scan something on your own. In that case, you'll want to check out my latest video on how to create stunning 3D scans of any kind of object using just your phone, which you can incorporate into your projects alongside your Fab assets and create beautiful scenes. Click here to watch it now.